All right, uh, so welcome back to the channel, you guys. Uh, tonight, I'm just making a quick video. Uh, I ran into an issue recently uh, when trying to edit with ClipChamp, uh, and my videos would just get stuck processing for a really, really long time. Uh, the word they had for it was preparing, uh, whereas typically I'd click on my video, open up ClipChamp, uh, and it'd be ready to edit, okay? Um, so that happened to me recently. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what happened with that, what the workaround is. A uh, nice, quick, and easy tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I have OBS open in the background there, and then I have ClipChamp up at the front here. Uh, I'm just starting to edit this video itself. Um, so what was happening is I would hit Import Media. I would click whatever the media is. And then as I hit Import, hopefully this doesn't affect my recording, um, it would take a really long time. So I would get my new thing here, and it would say Preparing. Sometimes it'd be stuck on zero. Sometimes it would slowly creep its way up. Um, and I was thinking like, what setting could I have changed to have uh, created this issue for myself? Uh, and I was kind of racking my brain trying to think of it. Uh, and it turned out, so I'm gonna go pop back in OBS here. Uh, what I had done is in my settings here, um, I've been fooling around with them trying to create the best visual quality uh, that I could. And in my output settings, I had actually changed my video encoder for my recordings um, from HEVC, or sorry, from H.264, uh, and I'd switched it to HEVC, um, so H.265, because that's what I've been using for streaming. Uh, the quality's the smallest bit better. Um, but so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that for my recordings. It's gonna be great. Um, but what was happening was it was making it incompatible um, not just with ClipChamp, but other uh, video softwares that I have on my computer. Um, so my quick and easy test was to change it back to H.264, hit record. Um, I did that, and then when I opened it up in ClipChamp, as soon as I clicked it, it uh, it was there for me. So that's my super quick and easy little tutorial there. Um, all that you got to do is just make sure that you're using the right encoder uh, and that it's compatible with the software. Um, I love ClipChamp, right? I'm going to edit this video on it. It's what I edit all my videos on. Um, if you're looking for tutorials on how to do that, I've touched it in, in a previous video. I think it's like my top five best, I don't even know, top five best something. Uh, I'll link it in the cards above. Um, but if you have more questions about how to use ClipChamp or anything like that, be sure to drop in the comments below. Uh, I'm always looking for different videos to make. Uh, so if you give me some inspiration, that'd be amazing. But yeah, so that's uh, all for the video today. It's really, really quick and easy. Uh, it's just an issue that I ran into and I figured if I can help anybody else out on the internet, that'd be great. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to throw a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.